Hi, this is Tahir. Uh, today we will learn uh, and work on a case study that how we can implement and enable CS certificate by using certificate common name as internal IP address. This uh, tutorial is also uh, for those uh, a technical team who work uh, in the Active Directory field and want to establish communication uh, with the domain controller using secure LDAPS protocol by inserting an IP address uh, in the connectivity. There are uh, many use cases where an enterprise need to communicate with their application remotely using SSL or TLS protocol by inserting uh, connectivity with an IP address. So let's start with the session but before we do anything let's verify that uh, uh, if we do not enable uh, such certificate can we communicate with the active directory uh, using SSL uh, protocol or not. <coughs> As an example uh, I will use uh, my uh, personal system which is running a Windows 10 operating system uh, and this machine will act as a client uh, uh, client side uh, system. Uh, if I open the command prompt, uh, if you can type LDP. This will open an application uh, and this application uh, can be used uh, to verify the Active Directory uh, connectivity using LDAP or LDAPS protocol. Uh, go to the connection, connect, insert the IP address and enable SSL option. If you click OK, uh, technically this connectivity will be failed because we haven't enabled any SSL certificate uh, with the IP address on our domain controller machine. Uh, okay, the important thing is that uh, if you are unable to open uh, uh, this LDAP application on your system, uh, then you can uh, easily uh, install it uh, on your system by going to the uh, con uh, con go to the uh, program and features turn windows feature on or off and select this feature active directory lightweight directory services once this is installed then you will be open to view the uh, LDAP application interface in your system. So now, now let's go to the uh, Active Directory machine uh, where we can en enable the CA certificate by using common name as an IP address. Here we will need to install uh, Active Directory certificate services by going to the uh, server manager. Click add role and features. Select this option, Active Directory Certificate Services. Click Next. Options showing on uh, next uh, screens, mostly you should uh, uh, select the default one. But on this screen, we will enable these three options in Role Services. Click on install. It will take a few minutes to complete the uh, first installation visit. After the completion, uh, we need to uh, configure the Active Directory Certificate Services by clicking this option. Select the first option, Certificate Authority. Enable this option, allow administrator interaction. Uh, 
let's finish uh, this configuration step by click on configure button step one has been completed we can close it close all the windows it is necessary that uh, you must uh, reboot the system The system is back now we can proceed with the step to configure the subject name uh, with the system internal IP address go to the control panel administrative tools select option certification authority expand and uh, right click on certificate templates click manage there you will see domain controller right click and select option duplicate template in general give any display name for this template any user friendly name you can insert request handling in, in request handling tab uh, enable option allow private key to be export exported and in the subject name enable option supply in the request click on apply okay uh, close this window and on uh, uh, on the same screen uh, in the certificate template right click new certificate template to issue select this option find the template name that you have just added we have added uh, IP SSL 03 click OK this section has been completed now we can close uh, all the windows and uh, go to start run type MMC files add and remove snapping certificate computer account in personal go to the personal folder and uh, right click all task and request a new certificate select the template that we have added and click option more information is required to enroll for uh, this certificate uh, on this page uh, under the subject name select common name and uh, in the value insert the IP address of the machine and in alternative name select type DNS and uh, insert the same IP address the second entry we will need to add in alternative name is the FQDN of the machine which we can get from my computer copy the full computer name and insert here click add click on enroll button and finish the configuration section at this stage uh, we have uh, installed the uh, CS certificate uh, on our domain controller machine and configure the subject uh, uh, of the common name by uh, by by inserting the system IP address now this uh, this domain controller is able to intercept uh, any secure TLS or SSL uh, communication using uh, using an IP address so to verify 
to verify that uh, can a client machine uh, can connect uh, with the domain controller using a, a TLS protocol or not uh, because uh, we need to export this certificate on the client machine uh, but to verify first uh, we will open the same uh, LDAP connectivity application uh, and still we will not be able to connect with the uh, with the machine using SSL it is required to export the certificate uh, and apply in the remote client machine from where you uh, are trying to establish the secure communication. Uh, so let's export the certificate in all task uh, click export select option export the private key insert the password for security purpose and that password uh, will be used at the time to import the certificate we can uh, copy this certificate and I will uh, apply in my uh, Windows 10 machine you can just right click on it and install it from here insert the password that we have set uh, during export uh, this certificate it is recommended that you place uh, this certificate in two folder personal and uh, trusted root certification authorities uh, but first we will place it uh, in personal repeat the procedure This is it. Uh, now we can verify the connectivity again from my uh, client side machine using SSL and TLS protocol. And you can see this time it is connected successfully. I hope uh, this uh, video tutorial will guide you that how you can configure. Uh, as, as configure a certificate by using a common name um, and IP address so thank you so much have a nice day bye bye